now this time I'm Hey there, now that you have set up your Relatable account quickly and easily, I'm going to take you through recording your first video. This includes your script and actually recording on both your desktop and your phone, and then how to save your recording on your desktop and your phone. That's a little bit different. So let me just start with your desktop. Okay, you see the relatable icon and the screen with the big plus button highlighting for us. This is where we start. So I'm going to hit that plus button and I'm going to go through a series of questions to tell the, uh, the app what I want to do. So the first one is, how would you like to begin? You're not going to import a project unless you know someone else on Relatable and they're sharing their project with you. So most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're just going to start a new project. Do you already have a video or would you like to record? So you can record a video somewhere else and then upload it uh, into Relatable. Add the, uh, the actual URL here in Relatable. But I'm going to take you through the entire process because it's pretty quick and painless. Is your video short or long? We call short videos clips, and this can be, uh, I typically do one to two minutes long, and that's really ideal for sharing on social media, in email automations or newsletters, uh, or sharing your ideas off the top of your head, what you're thinking about, and trying to get your audience to participate in those thoughts and help you clarify them. So I'm going to do a short video. Long videos, or we call sessions, are, uh, are really more adventures, longer adventures for your audience. Um, this is what I used to do in chatbots when I uh, built chatbots. I used to take people on adventures with the content. Well, you can do this in video form as well. And you can have a, a you know home screen where they can choose a different adventure that they want to take with your content. Or you can take individual short videos and put them together into longer sessions. And I'll show you more about that later. Well, let's just start with our first video. Make it easy on ourselves and just do something short. Do you want to uh, get help with your script? Or do you want to do it manually? So you can uh, play around. I would suggest you do play around with the uh, AI um, uh, script uh, assistance, uh, manual script, you've written a script somewhere else, or you want to write the script right here um, in the uh, Relatable app, or do you just want to use bullet points? So as you progress through this uh, Relatable interactive video relationship tool and framework, you will become more comfortable with video creation. As you do that, you'll be, you know, your, your topic best, you'll be able to talk off the top of your head and just use the bullet points as a guide to help you stay on track and to also help you try and be as short as possible with your content. So you can keep people um, interactive. So I'm just going to use bullet points right now. And as you can see, I can change these anytime I want. I can go back and say, no, I don't want to record a video. I want to upload one. No, I don't want to do a short clip. I want to do a session. No, I don't want to do bullet points. I want to do an AI assisted script. All right. So I can go back and change these anytime. And now we get to choose a folder. Now, when you come in here, you won't have a folder. So we're going to create a folder. There's our folder. Now I'm going to click continue. And here is my bullet point script. So I'm going to just add the word test on the end of this. And there we go. All right. Now uh, I'm going to click continue. And you'll see right now I'm on my desktop. So as soon as I hit this little uh, video button, it's going to ask me to uh, share my screen. So as you can see, I'm going to share my FaceTime screen. I'm going to use my, uh, my good mic. All right. Now there's my bullet points. There's my face. Um, and now I'm going to adjust the font. Now I'm going to also adjust the teleprompter speed. And so you can see, I can leave it down here and it won't, you know, won't go at all, or I can increase it to whatever time I want to show this, uh, this script on the screen. And now I'm going to click on record. Okay. And you'll see me go through this whole process. It's going to give me a five second, um, prompt. Hey there, MKJ here. Relatable videos are really easy to create and then make interactive. So the first thing you're going to do is create your script as we've already outlined. Then you're going to record your video. Now, the purpose of this is not just to record a video to stay static in your interaction with your audience. The purpose of this is to make your videos interactive. So what I'm going to do is wherever I want to 
put a question or some type of interactive element on the screen, we call those pop-ups as you'll learn shortly, I'm going to pause the video and I'm gonna pause it for just two seconds, literally two seconds. Most people pause too long because they think they have to pause for a longer period of time. You don't. So I'm going to ask you, are you ready to make your videos interactive? One, 1,000, two, 1,000. Great, I can't wait to show you exactly how to do that. Now you've recorded a video. Now I'm gonna go into, once I stop this video, how to save this video. Because what you're gonna to need to do is save the video either on your desktop or on your phone, in your phone files, and then you're going to upload it to a hosting service. You don't have to buy extra hosting here on uh, Relatable, so we're gonna uh, upload it to a hosting service and I'll talk about that, uh, the free service that I use all the time that I have stacked with all of my videos. Uh, I'll share that with you and show you how it works. In the meantime, when I get to the end of my video, I'm also going to ask you for a call to action, right? A CTA. You've listened to my video. You've watched my video. You've interacted with it uh, based on the question. Now I'm going to ask you to take action. And when I do that, again, marketing best practices are to pause for two seconds. So I'm going to say thanks a lot for joining me on this video. Have an amazing day. And I'll chat with you soon. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. And now I'm going to hit this big red button down here. Okay, now you see we have two options. I can trash this video and say, no, nah, I didn't like that. I want to start over. Or I can download it. And I'm just going to go ahead and download this. I'm going to click the download button. You'll see it automatically went up into my downloads folder. And uh, now it's going to ask me, do you want Relatable to create your interactive? It's going to create that interactive uh, video session for you or video clip. And I'm just going to go ahead and click yes so I can show you what that looks like. There we go. My bullet points test, it's pulsating at me going, here I am, here I am. And uh, now I can go show you how this works on my phone. Because what happened was it it automatically showed you where that, uh, that particular video was saved. So I, I know it's saved on my desktop. I don't have to do anything else. I can go access it in my downloads folder and then upload it to my hosting service. So we'll leave that alone. But now we have to go into our phone and do the exact same thing on our phone. Okay. So I already have my relatable up on my phone. Uh, and I'm going to share my screen again, but I'm going to share it on my phone this time and go through that exact same process on my phone. Okay. So as you can see, this is my account. I've got a whole bunch of interactive videos here and uh, here's the scripts that I have. And here's the actual interactives. That's what we call these videos. We just call them interactives because that's what they are. So I'm going to click the big uh, green, it's a small green plus button this time because I've got a bunch of uh, videos in here. So I'm going to click the small plus button and it's going to go through the exact same process. So I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to record a video. It's going to be a clip and I am going to do bullet points again. And now I'm going to put it in a folder. I'm just going to stick it in the new folder and I'm going to click continue. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing with a test. Okay, again, I hit the big red button. Now can I trash it or download it? I'm going to click download and you'll see on my phone automatically the options come up. So I can uh, airdrop it to my uh, laptop. You can see my Mystic Maker laptop right there. Or I can just click airdrop and send it somewhere else. Um, or where I suggest you do, unless you want to continue this on your desktop, uh, if you do, then you can airdrop it to your desktop or your laptop. But if you want to save it on your phone and actually continue this process right on your phone, you have those two options right there. You have either save video or save to files. Now, typically I hit save video because that actually saves it to my camera folder, my images folder. And I'm going to click that. All right. And now we have the same thing. Do you want to create an interactive? And I'm just going to say yes. And you'll see the same thing on my phone. It's going to bring you right there my bullet points test. Okay, perfect. Now uh, we've saved it to our phone. Now what I'm also going to do is show you if you're going to save that to your files folder, you see right here. Okay, I'm just going to go switch over. You see right here, this files button. If you saved it to your files, that's where it would be saved. And you see I have video seven there. That's one of my videos that I made back in March. 
that's saved to the files folder. So that's what you can do. If you want to save it to your actual images, which is what I did, there you go. You see another video of me uh, from a previous video that I made today. And you see the current one is the one minute and 28 second video. Okay. So there is where that video is stored in my actual photos file. Okay. That is where you save your video. And that is how you record your video on both your phone and your desktop. And right here is where I'll show you how to um, actually save it on your Android phone. Okay, you can see Peter Lasowski is recording his video on his Android. You see the same five second lead up. Now he's reading his script um, and we'll let that go for just a couple seconds. So you can see it's the same thing as the iPhone and desktop, no different. He's gonna hit the red uh, the stop button. And now it's the same thing. Do you wanna trash it or do you want to upload it. He says upload. It asks him if he wants to create an interactive. He said yes. Then it's going to go to his uh, photos folder on his Android. Next, you will see step three in this process, and that is actually uploading to your hosting service and getting it ready for your pop-ups, your actual interactive elements. But in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video.